my husband would be here today if Bridgeport would have told his people to evacuate. All we knew was that they were going to have the, the torrential rain. We didn't know anything about it was going to go real high. But when I came downstairs, I heard the water coming in. And I said the water is about that far in the basement. He came in the house and he started taking all of our stuff and bringing it up, bringing it up to the living room. He forgot that he had a jar down there that he had jewelry in that my dad left for me. And he went down for it. I told him to leave it. And when he went down, I watched him walk down the steps and I said no. He got to the bottom of the steps and he put his face up and he said it's is deeper than I thought. And he, I heard him go walking over and then about five minutes later, all the smoke alarm went off in the house because he hit the power wire and I think that's when he got electrocuted. And they let him lay there for 15 hours. Nobody wanted to go in and help him. Nobody. But the whole thing I did do was tell us, tell us to evacuate. We would have. I lost my husband of 32 years, Jack Caraluzzi. I lost my husband.